after the canine come in, we'll do an extensive search of that of the entire pod. Pulling the sheets off, move the sheets around, check the mattress. All right, uh, we're gonna conduct a shakedown. What we're looking for is drugs. We got a little tip that they dropped drugs off tonight. We don't know for sure if they did or not. But we want to take everybody out of the pod. We're gonna strip search them, check everything good. We're gonna send Leo in first and let him do the preliminary search, and then we'll come in as follows. Any questions? All right, let's go ahead and form it up. Okay, print out. 4J. We got You're gonna need one. Move out. Yeah. We're going up to uh, 4A. We're going to do a complete uh, pod shakedown. We're going to pull them out. We're going to do a strip search. Uh, each DRT going to post up at each door, make sure they don't flush or anything like that. Let's go, gentlemen. Get it up. Let's get it up. Put your gym and your clothes on. Do not flush the toilet. Let's go. Turn around, face the catwalk. Put your hands behind your head. You fold up those towels later. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tuck your elbows. Move, move, let's go. Bag up. Bag up. Bring them out, line. Down to the kitchen. One line, let's go. Right now we're going down to the, the dining room area where the inmates are being uh, kept right now. Um, they're pat searching them where they pat down on the clothes. And in the, the classroom area, they're stripping the uh, inmates to make sure that they don't have anything inside their underwear or their clothes. Now we're gonna go turn some mattresses over, check some mattresses, pull some totes out, take some contraband. I'll so go ahead and start at one cell and work over here. After the canine come in, we'll do an extensive search of that of the entire pod. Pulling the sheets off, move the sheets around, check the mattress. Supposed to have that either. Anything that doesn't come on commissary, they can't have it. I'm searching uh, the personal items right here. Um, make sure they're not stuffing anything in. And again, I'm going to search the deodorant bottle and recap it. Everything is searched when we do a, a cell search. The inmates are coming up with new ways every day to hide contraband. It's never the same story here, so they keep us on our toes and we have to stay on our toes. Looking for contraband, but I found a shirt. Uh, this is an illegal weapon. Jack, come here. This could be used to penetrate the skin and cut just like a knife. Yep. It needs to be wrapped up with uh, sheets so they can have a good grip on it or. Sanjay, can you tell where that piece come from? I don't know where that came from. It looked like I say off a cart, but you know. It's off a food cart. Food cart? Is that a food yeah, cart? It looks like it. Them carts. From what? The, a handle or something? Yeah, one of that or the braces. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and now interview the individuals who belong to number six sale. And if um, we get a confession out of one of them, if not, then we'll charge both of them with uh, possession of a weapon. I'm going to go ahead and take it to the commander, have him take a look at him. We'll interview those individuals. Came out of six cell. Yes. Yeah. It was laying right down where he laid his head at. Right there. Was it tote right there by? Yeah, yeah soon, right, where the door, right where he laid his head at. Yeah. It she was right there. It looks like it may have came from the fence up in the gym area. We have a fence up there. and The inmates have been working the wires away from around. And I think it's one of the brackets that hold the wires into place. Did he file this down? When the song comes up tomorrow, I'm going to have somebody to go up there and check those uh, fences and make sure we have all those brackets in place up there. That's what it looks like. Let's roll. Let's roll, Doc. You take all day. Sit beside that. Your hands behind your hands. Have a seat down. Want to tell me about that? And you got a bottom bunk 6 in? That's where it was found there. I just moved to the bottom. I'm not sitting there. You don't know nothing about this? Mm -hmm. Well, you will be charged with it because it's found under your bunk. Introducing a dangerous weapon to the jail, man. Are you aware of it? But it's not yours. But it was up under your bunk. It's not 
So your silly, put that up under your bunk? I don't know. It's under your bunk, in your personal items, your job. There you go. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get